Ah, Louisiana summer. Full of good music, good food, and good grief. The bugs. We live in a very hot and wet environment. It is extremely common for homeowners and gardeners to battle a pest problem at least once or twice each summer. You may be able to reduce your encounters of pests and save your crops in the process by implementing certain garden practices. First, learn how to identify the insect that is gnawing away at your vegetable or flower plants. That's because biological and chemical products are designed to control harmful insects based on where, when, and how they develop. Examine the life cycle of the pests, alternate hosts or plants they like, and the insect's seasonal development. The mouth parts offer major clues. They show whether bugs chew, pierce and suck, or lap and sponge. Most garden pests have a simple or complete metamorphosis. They have three body regions, head, thorax, abdomen, three pairs of legs, one pair of antenna, and one or two pairs of wings. The most common insects that damage our vegetables and ornamental gardens include aphids, scale, and white flies. These pierce and suck. Beetles, weevils, and caterpillars chew. As you may guess, the insects with piercing and sucking mouth parts are the biggest nuisance. They suck, import nutrients out of the plant. This can be treated by using a systemic insecticide. However, it will affect all of the insects that may visit that plant. Imidacloprid is a systemic insecticide, which means that it is water soluble enough to be picked up by the plant roots and translocated through the plant's vascular system, where the sap is. Bt is a bacterial insecticide toxic to caterpillars. Pyrethrin, seven dust, and horticultural oil are all safe to use on vegetable and ornamental plants. To better understand which chemical will work most effectively with your pests, contact your local extension agent or speak to a local nursery horticulturist. Successful plant management is based on the ability to identify the pest and keep pest damage to a minimum before you go out and buy insecticides. Know that some people are able to control insects without using products that endanger the environment and other beneficial insects. Always try these methods first. Practice host management. Keep your plants clean by clearing away any debris or damaged matter. Host resistance. When possible, select plants that are resistant to pests. Practice biological control. Attract insects like ladybugs, green lacewing, and assassin bugs to fight off the bad guys. Try companion planting. Basil is good at fighting off insects harmful to tomatoes. Marigolds can be used to protect beans and radishes. Or nasturtiums are helpful in protecting cucumbers. Use crop rotation, planting different crops in different spots in different seasons, not giving the insects that target a particular vegetable time to take over. Periodically scout and check your plants for eggs, pupae, or adult insects. Use mechanical controls. Traps, screens, barriers, and electric zappers can wrangle up pests. Yeehaw! Some pest problems can be solved with creative devices made at home. Although their effectiveness varies, traps made of beer sunk into the ground will catch slugs. Bright sticky objects near the base of plants will stop crawling insects in their tracks. White flies are attracted to the color yellow. Aluminum foil loosely wrapped around the stems of transplants can protect them from cutworms. Use mesh coverings over fruits to protect larger insects and birds from stealing your crop. Hand picking of insects and egg masses ensures quick and positive control. Water sprays with a strong stream and dish soap will remove pests without injuring the plant or soil. Diversify your planting. Try not to group similar crops all in one area and when all else fails and you're determined to treat or spray with a chemical, consider the direction of the wind run off into local waterways, and tree plants when it isn't raining. And beware of the dangers of absorption into skin or lungs. Wear long sleeves, long pants, and use a mask. 
To learn more prevention methods, chemical safety, and other home remedies for your arsenal, contact us at suagcenter.com.